If you were not on the internet yesterday, then you probably missed that Flowdesk released their biggest update um, in a while. And it all has to do with managing your preferences, how somebody uh, can subscribe to your list, and all of the different opt-in forms. And so I wanna walk you through the new features that they just released and then how this can be helpful and beneficial to your business and how you can use it, um, especially as a service provider. If you are, say, a photographer and you have weddings, you have families, you have newborn clients, um, then how you can use this to really harness the power of email marketing within your business, sell and create new opportunities to add income. I was just talking to one of my friends uh, last week and she actually posted on Instagram how last year alone she added $13,000 to her income just by using email marketing and asking people if they wanted to buy her photography prints. And so just imagine what you could do if you added $13,000 to your yearly income just by adding in email marketing. So let's go ahead. I will head over to my Flowdesk account and I'll walk you through the new features and not only that, but how to harness the power of them within your business to make more money. Okay, so once you hop into your account, it's going to look something like this, and it doesn't look like anything new has happened whenever you're just on your dashboard. The first thing I wanna take you to is if you click on your name in the top right-hand corner, um, we're gonna go down to uh, opt-in setup. So you have your double opt-in, you have your thank you page. I talk about those in a couple of other videos. I have the, if you're just getting started with Flowdesk and you wanna know how to set up your account correctly and organize everything, um, I will link to that video down below and up above so that you can check out that video. But what you'll notice new right here is going to be your preferences page. And so we are going to edit that so you can see all the different things. So you would add in your logo here and then you can update your preferences. So if you click on update preferences, I'm gonna slide this little bar over and you can say, what do you want to hear about? Or you can change this to say, you know, what uh, kind of content do you want? And there's different options. So the one that I have seen, and um, this is what I updated ours to today, is going to be weekly. And you can put a description. It will say like emails once a week or uh, news and updates once a week. And then you can choose that segment. So if you wanted to do weekly, then somebody would get added to that segment. The next one could be monthly. And then that would be uh, once a month emails. And then I would add a segment that says monthly. So that way, whenever we're going to create a new email, we can select the segment that says monthly and only be talking to the ones that wanna get spoken to monthly. And then lastly, another option would be special offers. And this is for somebody who doesn't want to regularly hear from you, but if you are launching a new course or uh, you know doing something new, you're a part of a summit, you, something like that, you're offering a new service, then that's whenever they wouldn't want to hear from you. And I'm going to put special offer here. So there you have your three different opt-ins. And so people can come over here and they can slide on and off what they want to hear about. And you can also update the style of it. So you can either do light, dark, or if you have a brand color, you can put your brand color in here and save that as well. So that's how you set up your preferences. And this is going to be whenever you email somebody at that footer instead of it just saying unsubscribe to the person where they have the option to either fully be in or fully be out, this will allow them to manage those preferences so that you don't lose them as a subscriber altogether. All right, now what we are going to do, and this is where you're gonna notice if you've been inside Flowdesk for a while, we're gonna go over to the forms, and then we're going to go to new form, and you're going to notice a bunch of different new opt-ins, like so many different new opt-ins. 
that it just keeps going and going. I was so surprised at how many opt-ins there were here now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go into one of them. I'm going to hit customize it. We'll say this is for that weekly segment. I'll hit save. So now what you have the option to do is get specific and tell, ask people what they want to hear about. I will use that photographer example again. If you have clients that will only be interested in weddings, say they're getting married, or if you have a lifestyle part of your business and so they'll only be interested in those family sessions, uh, or if you do mini sessions a couple times a year and you know that they're only going to be interested in that, what you can do is come here and you can put weddings, you can put family sessions, we will put mini sessions, and then if you don't want one, you can just hit delete and get rid of that then you'll add in your segments. So this is going to be harnessing that power of segmented emailing. Whenever subscribers feel like they are getting quality content that is speaking directly to them, they're gonna be more likely to open up your emails, click your emails, and essentially buy from you. And so the more segmented you can make your email list, the better. So for weddings, we'll create that weddings so we'll create a segment for that we'll create a segment for families and then we'll create a segment for mini sessions you can change the fonts in the colors as well i'm not going to go too deep into that because i talk about that in a couple of my other videos that i'll link below um but the biggest thing is going to be that segmentation so you can do the double opt-in or not, notify me or not, where you want to display it. Like I said, I talked about that in other videos. And then there's a new thing where you can, so right now, anytime that you copied this link and you pasted it into your browser, it always had this Flowdesk favicon and it said like design emails that people love to get. So the URL address was always branded to Flowdesk. Now what you have the option to do is edit that link. You can change out the image. So if we want to use a branded, we'll just use this image. So if we wanted to uh, change out the image and we can also say Care Love Designs and then marketing for next level businesses. So this is what it's going to look like in somebody's browser. So if you go to share it on Facebook or um, if you are sharing the link, it's going to be branded for your business instead of always saying Flowdesk. Um, and so that one has been highly requested. And so you hit save and then you can copy it and you can view the form live and see what that looks like. So now if you are have this opt-in form on your website, they can say, hey, I'm only interested in weddings, I'm getting married, or uh, I know I'm only interested in mini sessions, I'm not going to pay full price, whatever the, the case may be, and they will be able to opt in to what it is that they're interested in. All right, the other thing that's really cool that Flowdesk rolled out today is going to be custom forms so that you can ask your uh, audience customized questions that will help you segment their list even further. And so if you go over here, uh, you have your email address, your first name, and then there's this new add button. You can add either the last name, which has always been there, or a custom field. So this may be uh, the one that I saw in the email that I really liked was Enneagram number. And you can map it to a new field. So you could say Enneagram. And you can either make that as required or not required. But now what you can do is you can segment those lists for, say, if somebody put that their Enneagram number was uh, three, like myself, then you can email people based on that. So if you are typing up an email and you want to personalize it more, instead of just using their first name, you can say, uh, knowing that you are 
we just say like knowing that you're in Enneagram and then we'll put the number and then we'll say um, your Enneagram number. So if it doesn't pop up, it would say knowing that you're an Enneagram three or it would say your Enneagram. I know that doesn't make complete sense, but we'll roll with it for this example. It'll say knowing that you're an Enneagram three, I can tell you know X, Y, Z. So this way you're personalizing that email communication even further and the, the subscriber feels like you're actually talking to them specifically because you're using more personalized details. And so that is probably a bad example with the, the feedback uh, if they don't put their Enneagram number in there. Um, but that's how you can use that. You want to personalize those emails so it doesn't feel like you're sending out a mass email to you know 100 or 1,000 people, but that it's an individual email that just happens in the land in their email box that you're sending specifically to them. What's also cool is you can add that into their into the subject line. So you could say, um, "Open up if you're in Enneagram," and we'll say whatever it is. Open up if you're an Enneagram number three or what I'll say, whatever it is to them. So you can personalize that subject line or you could just do a first name. You could just say at first name or friend. This is just for you. So this way it feels like you're sending it and you're popping into their email inbox all alone and you're not sending it out to the masses. So we'll hit continue on that. Some other cool things that got sent out today is for uh, Flowdesk, their opt-ins can now be in different languages as well as some accessibility. So you can like type the keys to go up and down forms as well. So just massive updates to how you interact with your subscribers and how personalized you can get. And so this is going to help your open rates soar. This is going to help your email communication feel more personalized so that you can really grow a relationship with your email list. And that in return will lead to more sales. All right, so I have some other videos. If you are just new to this Flowdesk game, then I do recommend that five ways of getting started. Or you can go ahead and watch the next video, which will be about setting up your next workflow and how you can get started with those.